Syria. Today, I'm going to continually preaching the series of fourth dimension spirituality. Hmm? Uh, today, I'm going to tell you the, the face, part two face. Yeah, I know. The face is very basic attitude. Uh, Christian for the Christ, we believe Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. We have face, strong face. I know you have strong face. <coughs> what is face? What should we believe? Hmm? These question, I have question. What, what do we believe? This question could be, you know, that make up the Christian face. Christian face. Face is, uh, I think, uh, faith is about standing on the word of God. <laughs> we should stand on the word of God. This is the face. The Bible says the It is impossible to please God without to face everyone, anyone, come to the Lord, have faith that He is, He is, and believe that he is reward. Yeah, we we are looking for to receive the reward in the heaven. Hallelujah! Pray the Lord. God has prepared to give to great thrill to you. Now, I'm believing. I'm believing God. This is my face. I believe in Jesus Christ. This is my face. I believe in Jesus will come. That is, I believe, this is my face. I believe it. You have the same thing with me. I believe the Holy Spirit in us. That is my face. I believe Jesus is the Son of God and the Lord. Lord three days and ascend to heaven and he'll come soon to take me into the heaven where well, I'm long for to go there to live in Jesus Christ that is my face this face, I believe this face not comes from the, my rationality, not my idea, not my thinking. That I'm telling you, this face I'm telling you now, this is based on the word of God. I've learned. I and realize that I Jesus will come again. He is the Son of God. In the Bible, I believe in Bible, the Word of God, Word of the Living God. That's my faith. It's not based on my rationality and my idea no I don't want to say I confess this face I keep in mind that I want to tell you this face it comes the word of God I believe word of God God has created heaven and earth and the world was with God, the world was God. 
the world came to the flesh, Jesus Christ. This world it became in us by the Holy Spirit. I believe. I will confess or I will speak my confession in Jesus Christ based on in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No, you know, if you try to understand the Bible by the, your rationality, rationality, your idea, human the idea of the human thinking will result in a big trouble and you might be temptation. You may be confused when you are reading the, this word because we don't understand this Bible and the story, the Old Testament, New Testament. Such a like, uh, let me tell you, you, can you believe Red Sea was parted? Not a bit of curse, uh, an event has been happening, we see in this the Bible. Do you believe that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary. Can you imagine? We can't imagine by our rationality. That is not a bit of cross the story. We've been we look at the, this Bible whenever we read the Bible. The Rationality cannot accept this story in Bible has been written these books. No matter how you try to, to understand the, the Bible, we could not understand unless we gonna catch all the this story that had been written this book by our face face hallelujah yeah you know God has created the entire universe with his world hmm? so I want to tell you that face is about to standing on the word of God. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you that I'm standing on this word of God by my face that it never shaken. Even some Sometimes it's moving, sometimes it's, you know, like it, up, down, up, it's no problem. I'll stand up again and I'll look at the Jesus Christ. I want to stand by the, my face because I do believe that this word of God that never changes. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I want to tell you the story. The, the, the disciples who had afraid in, at the, the, the lack of the Galilee. According to verse 8, chapter 23, through the 27, Jesus got up the boat and the disciples followed in that boat. 
that time in the violent storms it came on to the lake of the Galilee. You know, the, the Sea of Galilee on, on an unusual body of the world. It is relatively small, you know, it is a world, lake. 30 miles long, 7 miles wide. Listen, my heavenly brother and sister. But it is very deep, 150 deep. And the show line is 680 feet below the sea level. Southern storm can appear over the surrounding mountains with a you know, little warning, sometimes stunning, stirring stirring the water into violent wind, which is a 20 foot waves, big waves came, capsized the, the boat where Jesus Christ and disciples was there. Hmm. You know, although the disciples had witness many miraculous three the event they experience, but they panic when. They saw the big storm that is coming to the boat. You know, they knew it's a danger. What, but what they did not know was that Christ could control the forces of nature eh? because they were afraid as soon as the seeing the byron the storm. So Jesus Christ said, oh, Jesus Christ was sleeping. Disciples are afraid. They wake up the Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, Lord, save me. Please save me. We're gonna drown right now. Jesus Christ stand up and rebuke the world. What happened? And the violent storm would come, and it is gone. Disciples were not marveled. Oh, what kind of this man? All the storm and the violent wind sub died. They were marveled. Yeah. Listen, my brother and sister. I'm telling the face. I'm preaching now the face of the Christian. Jesus Christ said, 
Why so afraid? Why, why are you afraid now? You are a little faith. You have a little faith. Jesus Christ didn't say, you don't have a faith. He said, you are of little faith. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We have the strong faith. We have to have a big faith which God is going to give to you. If you pray, this is faith. Jesus Christ wants to give you this faith we have to have. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus' power that calmed this violent storm can also help us deal with the problem you have. God is bigger than problem you have. You know, there is an open stormy area of our human nature where we feel God can't or get God on to solve this problem, my problem, and my situation. God cannot take care of it. Sometimes we feel like that, but that is you have a little faith. We truly understand God is, God exists. We believe we have a big faith, strong faith. We will realize that He controls all storm that comes to our life and suddenly this storm smash to our lives and troubled our heart. He will control our troubled heart as well as the big storm that going to hit to us. If we believe, if we have big faith, hallelujah, pray the Lord. Bible say, Matthew 11, 23, 24, Anyone say this mountain, go, and show yourself into the sea. There is no doubt in your heart and believe, believe we have. It will be done. Hallelujah. Yes. I want you. You have the, the face like going to move this mountain. Any mountain which is blocked your way. If we ask 
and believe this mountain be moved by the name of Jesus Christ it will be done yes I believe let's have this strong faith which is based on the word of God that God controls all your problems and he is a reward and a deliverer and he will do everything that he is bigger than our problem we have if we have this face mountain that moved we nothing afraid anything we will fall to the kingdom of God in Jesus Christ hallelujah pray the Lord amen thank you give glory hallelujah yes I know you this face you are to keep this face it comes this the word of God I say again thank you pray the Lord keep this mount this the face God will keep this mountain if we pray. God will take care of it and keep this face. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Faith is God will be delight. Look at your face. Hallelujah. Pray today. Amen. Thank you. See you later. Bye bye.